Dr. Jordan. I'm Dr. Lauren, and today we'll be talking to you about a study we did involving the effects of alpha MSH on CFOS immunoreactivity, food and water intake, and mRNA abundance in seven day old Japanese quail. We know that the melanocortin system plays a significant role in the regulation of energy balance. Melanocytes produce melanin, which is a pigment found in your hair and your skin, um, skin cells, and these cells are found in your epidermis. And the arcuate nucleus is a location where POMC regulated transcript neurons and peptide, peptide neurons project to other nucleus for receptor expression. And this area is a collection of nerve cells that play a critical role in hunger and in appetite. It is already known that alpha MSH inhibits feeding and increases CFOS immunoreactivity in rodents and chickens. The effects are taking place in the paraventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus. POMC, MCR, AGRP, and MRAP are all proteins, except for um, MRAP, which is a peptide, that are involved in the melanocorn system. POMC is synthesized in the pituitary and once cleaved or cut, produces peptide hormones, which are packaged and then set down the axon in dense core vesicles. Melanocortin receptors are produced and are, as already discussed, vital in pigmentation, energy, and feeding behavior. Here is a diagram that portrays the POMC gene, which gives rise to various melanocyte receptor proteins. One peptide produced from the POMC protein is called the beta MSH peptide, plays a role in weight regulation by binding to the MC4R, which is right here. This helps with energy balance. The arcuate nucleus contains the POMC and CART neurons. It also contains NPY and AGRP neurons, which have to do with the function of feeding. CART and POMC neurons have to do with satiety, which is also called anorexigenic, and NPY and AGRP neurons are in charge of hunger, which, have, which is another word for orexigenic. And in his previous study in chicks, 120 p mole of alpha MSH was associated with more CFOS immunoreactivity in the arcuate nucleus. So to put everything in perspective, here is the hypothalamus in the brain. Um, the paraventricular nucleus is this purple area right here. Um, the dorsal media nucleus is this green area here, and the ventral media nucleus is this red area right here. Previous studies have shown that NPY and AGRP are probably involved in anorexigenic effects of alpha MSH in chicks because of transcript transcriptional changes in nuclei. Alpha MSH inhibits feeding and increases CFOS immunoreactivity in the paraventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus in rodents and chickens. In chickens, the ICV injection of 120 p mole of alpha MSH was associated with more CFOS immunoreactivity in the ARC, the DMN, and the LH. Before our results, we found out that um, for 50 p mole alpha MSH, the food was the food intake was the lowest. And then for intermediate, the five p-mole was kind of in the middle, and for the greatest, that was the vehicle, which is the zero um, p-mole alpha MSH. And the differences were similar mostly at the 30-minute injection, and at 60 minutes, quail injected with the 50 p-mole of alpha MSH ate less than when the quail injected with the two lower doses, but were not different from the control group, or the group that was given the zero. And at 90 minutes post-injection, quail injected with 50, 50 alpha MSH ate more than quail injected with the other two, the vehicle or the 0.5 alpha MSH. And then for water intake at 30 minutes post-injection, the quail injected with the 5 and the 50 p mole MSH um, drank less than vehicle injected quail. And um, at 120 minutes post-injection, quail that received 50 p mole MSH had drank more water than quail in the other three groups. Here are the graphs of our results for food intake and for water intake. And as you can see, it has the vehicle 0.5 p mole, 5 p mole, and 50 p mole for alpha MSH. And as you can see, the food intake decreases when there's more of the alpha MSH injected in the quail. And then as for water intake, the same thing. We found that there were three times more of the immunoreactive cells in the paraventricular nucleus and the um, ventromedial hypothalamus. And 
We also found that there were similar um, amounts in the DMN, the LH, and the arcuobuculus. But the more alpha MSH that was injected in the quail, the more mRNA um, we found. And it was the MC4R, which is the melacortin 4 receptors that were affected and were greater in the um, quails that were treated. So our results were pretty similar to the results in the broiler chick experiment. In the broiler chick experiment, after the ICV injection, there was a constant reduction in food intake after that. And in the low weight chicks, there was a reduction after 30 minutes. And in the heavyweight chicks, there was a constant reduction the whole entire time. In comparison to other studies, like the layer chick study or the broiler chick study, quail have a lower threshold for alpha MSH reduced food intake effects. And this is because in quail, there was more effect at the first interval, which was 30 minutes. And although from a cumulative perspective, food intake reduces as alpha MSH dosage goes up, but from a non-cumulative perspective, after 30 minutes, anorexigenic effects begin to decrease and the greatest recovery was in the quail with the highest dose. For water intake, alpha MSH was associated with reduced drinking in this experiment. However, though, for um, the experiment with rats and chicks, there was no effect. All right, so for CFOS immunoreactivity in the hypothalamus, um, we found that there are more reactive cells in two appetite-related nuclei, the PVN and the VMH. And when the broiler chicks experiment was conducted, 120 PMOL alpha MSH injection was associated with increased, increased CFOS immunoreactivity in the arcuate nucleus, DMN, LH, and PBN. And there was greater CFOS mRNN in the PBN and DMN, but not LH or arcuate nucleus at 60 minute post injection. And activation to the PBN at 60 minutes in response to central injection of alpha MSH appears similar between um, the quail and the broiler chicks despite differences in age and in dose. And it suggests that anorexigenic effects of alpha MSH are mediated via the PBN. In broiler chicks, uh, alpha MSH injection was associated with an increase in AGRP mRNA in the arcuate nucleus and DDC mRNA in the DMN. Um, arcuate nucleus and the DMNs right there. And basically at the nucleus level, these genes so showed an opposite change in mRNA at one hour post ICV injection as compared to quail with the whole hypothalamus level. And also for mammals, hypothalamic nuclei that express large quantities of MC4R also contain dopaminergic nerve terminals. And microinjection of, a, of alpha MSH into the LH decreased feeding and increased dopamine release from the LH. And anorexigenic effects of alpha MSH are in part mediated through increased dopaminergic signaling. Some of the same genes were affected in the present study and the broiler chick study suggests there are similar pathways that are involved. And differences in treatment induced effects are gene exp on gene expression may be explained by tissue type. And there are also differences in threshold sensitivity that lead to changes in pathways that occur on different time scales. For the broiler study, it did not um, evaluate the mRNA abundance in the VMH, so it's possible that in the present study, the increase in MC4R expression is of VMH origin. And for our study, the effects of MSH are mediated via M VMH and PVN and involve MC4R. And because effects were measured in the whole hypothalamus, it's possible that nuclei-specific changes were more moderate than they should have been. We're going to do this experiment again. Uh, we used more of a variety of different p-mole amounts of alpha MSH because, as you can see, like 0.55 and 50 is a very broad range. The 5 to 50, that's very far away. So maybe using something like 25, 35, 45, um, we also should have taken age more into consideration when comparing it to the broiler study since it was a little bit iffy with that one. And also, we would probably uh, experiment on a different animal since we did a study, there was already a study with chicks and we did it on quail, which is another type of bird. And also, we would use more intervals when it comes to um, when we collected data with how much they were eating because we did it on 30 minute intervals. That's kind of 
far away, we could have done 15 instead.